John Keller from Military and Aerospace Electronics. We're at the Association of the U.S. Army Show here in Washington. Actually, one of the largest uh, military shows uh, in the country this year. I'm here with uh, Dustin Franklin of GE Intelligent Platforms. Um, uh, he's going to tell us something about what happens when we apply high-end gaming technology to military surveillance and unmanned vehicles. Tell us a little bit more about how that works. NVIDIA's GPU technology enables us to leverage the huge R&D investment warranted by the gaming industry. So basically, we get to reuse all that hardware accelerated graphics technology for imaging, digital signal processing, radar and LIDAR processing. And that's exactly what we're doing with uh, these set of demos. Uh, we have a, a stereo, gigabit Ethernet vision, and LiDAR all being processed on this small sub-10 watt ARM system on chip that combines four ARM cores with 192 CUDA-enabled GPU cores. And basically what this enables us to do is process a vast amount of sensor data in a footprint much, much smaller than was previously uh, able to accomplish. For example, uh, you know, previous systems we deployed would use a much larger 3U or 6U VPX processing system uh, utilizing Intel x86 uh, Core i7 technology. And these would run around you know, 50 to 80 watts each. But we're able to achieve that exact same uh, sensor processing performance now, but only in a very small sub-10 watt uh, system on chip module. And basically, uh, this enables embedded uh, device manufacturers to move away from uh, the paradigm of an external sensor processing box to embedding the sensor processor inside the device itself since it's so small and low power. Uh, the Tiger K1 draws less than 10 watts while providing 325 gigaflops of compute capability, which is equivalent to an Intel i7's compute capability, but in uh, less than five times the power consumption. So 10 watts, it's not much power, and it means very small systems. And thanks to GE and companies like them, we're finding out just how small that is. This is John Keller at the AUSA Show in Washington.